Hmm. Which one should we... Uh, let's just try them both. But does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Hey, welcome to a new video. Um, we're trying some whiskeys again. <clears throat> Hopefully you like these whiskey videos. We've been making a few. So, like, comment, subscribe, correct? Yes. Yes. Um, so, what do we got here? Elijah Craig and Four Roses Single Barrel. I have no idea about these. Um, are they bourbons? These are bourbon. Or, I'm oh, sorry, that's a bourbon. Yes. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Father of bourbon, Elijah Craig. Um, not sure if that's true. No idea. So, these are about the same price, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. I think they were 40 ish dollars each. Yeah. Um, 40? Let me check the receipt. It's right there. We bought it at Twin Liquors. The I think this one was 44. The Elijah Craig was 32. Four roses. This is a single barrel, 53. Okay, 32, 53. 30, so, kind of a, not a apple to apples comparison. Price-wise. But, we'll see we'll, what it, which one's going to be better? I don't know. Let's just throw that out the way. Anyways, we're going to get, which one do you want to try first? The cheaper one or more expensive? Let's try the cheaper one. Yeah, because that's a good idea. So, yeah. This is 47%. What's this? 50%. Warehouse number M W barrel number fifty nine dash three S. Don't elbow me in the face. But these have been fun. We, we've enjoyed making some whiskey videos and with our whis whiskey glasses. Going Karen's, I think. What's it called? Ah, oh, there was no noise. Don't be smelling it out of the bottle. Okay, here we go. Elijah Craig small batch. Hey, that's small batch. You're not seeing a barrel though. There's dogs outside barking. Sorry. That's super annoying dog. Well, that's a lot. Is it? Well, cool. we'll savor it. We'll savor it. Okay. I can smell it from here. It smells like whiskey. So this is Elijah Craig. Small batch, 94 proof. Says that Elijah Craig was mm -hmm. the first to char oak barrels. So let's. Oh, very mild. I get. Hmm. Ethanol. Yeah, Nail ethanol. Nail polish but remover. Maybe cinnamon. A little bit of spice. It's not super strong smelling. Yeah, it's very mild. Very mild. Um, like if this is a really good thirty-two dollar whiskey, then then that's that's perfect. Forty-seven percent, fairly easy strength. Pause. We just were interrupted. So here we go. We're back to it. Smelling. Sorry, sorry. Cinnamon and I wouldn't say ethanol. It it's kind something of else. smells like honey to me. Yeah, you you know what smell. I wonder which. Which whiskey company owns Elijah Craig? This smells a lot like what well, the hints we were getting on the Knob Creek. Okay, ready? It's bourbon. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah, here we go. It was spicy. Oh, yeah, it is spicy. It is spicy. Mm hmm. Like, yeah, spicy. Super spicy on the front and the back end. Like, yeah. Long finish, the spices, yeah, it, it goes down. Wow. It's like lip tingly spicy when you first sip it. And it has a after bite of spiciness. Yeah, it sure does. Wow. I'm going to give it another second. Mm, see that second smell? See the, it's it, ethanol. I still get cinnamon. It's the cinnamon spice coming up. I was hoping that it would be a little like silkier, but it's mm -hmm. not. It's not bad though. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's super spicy. 
Yeah, this isn't made. This one's not made for people that aren't used to drinking whiskey. No, they would not it, like it's, it. It's a little bit, as they would say, harsh a little bit. It's but not, not bad. No, it's not bad. It, it's a different type of heart, like a. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Sorry. It is smooth. It yeah, it doesn't smooth. have I mean, like a. It's going to be a good drink to have. Burn. Good bottle to have in the house. Like it doesn't have an ethanol burn. No, to no, it. it's no burn. It it's just, just really spicy. has super spicy notes to it. Um, mm. On the front and the back end, and how it d goes on the glass mm -hmm. leaves a nice. Yeah, it's spicy. Yeah. Wow. Very. Elijah Craig, I've never had it before. People have talked about this brand, and I mean, I like it. Yeah. I don't this is a dislike small it. batch. It's only thirty-two dollars. So I mean, it's pretty good. Um, I don't dislike it. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Yeah. It's just so, super spicy. So if you don't like spicy, let's that clean out the glasses. Good. We'll be right back. Okay. So we've had Elijah. Now let's go with mm -hmm. four the Four Roses. Roses Single Barrel Distilled and Aged by Four Roses Distillery, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. I do like how they show you which warehouse. And so it's distilled. So they make this from start to finish. I don't know. Is this one made from start to finish by them? Just doesn't really say. No, there's like zero label on this. Just small batch. Oh, well, it's on the side. Oh. Distilled and bottled, yeah, by them. In Bards, Bardstown, Kentucky. Makes sense. It's a bourbon. So, yeah. So this one is $53.99, so $54 versus $33. So we'll let you For $33, that, that was pretty good. That's good, yeah. Both had the same style, like wooden court style thing. Just kind of weird. So this is 50%, that one's 47. Oh, I can't get the rest of that plastic off. Hmm. Oh well. It's staying on. Oh. Okay, no noise. Try again. No, no noise. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no Ooh, it's. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good start. No, it's just Ew. like, no smell at all. No smell at all. hope the bottle proves to be different. Now, the color looks a little different than the other one. So, is there an age? Is there an age statement on this one? Doesn't say. Does not say. It just says, according to the Surgeon General, if you're pregnant, you shouldn't be drinking alcohol. I think we're clear. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I wish it was an H demon. I do like a single barrel though. So, all right, let's give it a smell. Very so mild. Yeah, so mild. For a fifty percenter, that's we've we've gone from the forty percent, and and we like a higher percent nowadays. So, not because we drink so like... much, just the the flavor is different when you go above forty. So. The only thing I'm really getting is just ethanol, but it's yeah. so mild, which makes me scared. I'm not getting any, any... <laughs> Usually that's a bad sign. I'm not getting any, um, no sweetness, no honey, no apple. Honestly, it smells like a perfume to me. I mean, it is called Four Roses. Do you smell any roses? Do you no, smell four um, of them? Four roses? Maybe five. No, it smells like a perfume. Yeah, because now I'm getting a little bit of sweetness. Now maybe just got a lot of air a little bit. Let's see how it, let's see how it uh, goes on the glass. Hmm, I would think that's a lower proof than that one, with the with the side of the glass. Yeah. I just get it's thin perfume. It's thin. I still can't smell anything but right. ethanol and perfume. There we go. I smell sweetness going in. Wow. I mean, I don't. Um, that's hard to describe because I hate saying this word in trying whiskeys. But that was smooth. Yeah. I don't like saying the word smooth because that's not really what you're looking for. A lot of people that aren't whiskey drinkers, I want one that not gonna burn me going down. But I like one to slap me in the face a little bit. And that was very easy to drink. It's spicy to me. It 
in the second sip, there's some spice. I got spice in the first one. My yeah, see, I did not at all. Oh, on the lips. Mm -hmm. Lips, it's tingly on the lips, which most of them are not that, which this one was spicy on the lips. This one's more tingly. Yeah. Um, hmm. It's very thin to me. It like is. Yeah. How most of them have like some kind of consistent, like yeah. it, almost it, honey oily. thickness. Yeah. This is super thin. Yeah, it's really thin. It doesn't have it doesn't, like, I mean, it does have an ethanol flavor to it a bit, but not like super strong. But yeah. it. And there's no back end spice. Like this one, the Elijah no. Craig had a had a back end spice. So. This one is only at first sip, like on the front of it, is spicy. Which I didn't get the first time, so. On my lips. I, I did it on the definitely. second time, but. Definitely spicy. I still get ethanol, but it's like a sweet ethanol. So when you hold it in your mouth for a little bit, can you take it down? I mean, it doesn't have as much character as the Elijah Craig. I feel like this one, like most of the ones that we drink have more of a... Um, more flavor thick viscosity like it's yeah, a oily. thicker consistency yeah this one's super thin i mean it's not bad it it smells sweet and hmm. just like perfumey hmm. i mean a bit spicy and then Okay, I'll take this little bit and see what... I'm going to drink it down fast so I can get the hit of everything. I don't Burning. hate it, but it's definitely not my favorite. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's only stronger up front. It doesn't have a long finish. It mm -hmm. goes away really fast. Yeah. So, wow. I if you put if I tried these together, I would prefer this one. I think this one would be the stronger, more expensive one. I just prefer this, this one. This one seems to me like a stronger proof. But honestly, this is fifty percent. That's forty-seven. I think this is a lower proof. Yeah, I I preferred this one out of the two of them. I preferred this one. Um, wonder how it would compare to Knob Creek. We should try Knob Creek. Hold on. Okay. Knob Creek. $35? $34? We don't remember. Is it, is it in a $30? It was about the same price as that one, I think. But this it's is been like age a nine favorite years. of yeah. ours. This has been age nine years. That was in our last video. Um, age nine years, 50%. 50 this is owned by the Jim Beam Company. Um, but a booker... I think there is a name on here. Um... It's still an age by them. I mean, it's our bottle, but I mean, just a little bit. We don't want to get liquored up. Just a hair bit. So we got things to do still. To be productive still today. Sort of. So this is the Knob Creek. Make sure we're all in the shot. Knob Creek's in the shot. It smells so good. Oh yeah, man, honey. Appley honey. Wow. Yeah, the, just it the like nose of it is apple pie, like it's cinnamon, apple, and a hint of honey thrown in there, right? Yeah, I get honey definitely. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's see what it tastes like. Oh, so much character. Hmm. Swedish. A little, little burn, but it's so good. That is that is good stuff. And if you go on the side of it, it sticks to your glass really yeah, well. Yeah, it's definitely has... It's, it's more oily, like a... Viscous, more yeah. of a thicker... It's so weird that that um, the Four thin. Roses was very, very, very thin. thin. 
and these two both were a bit thicker but this one just has i mean i would choose either of these over the four roses yeah definitely um this one's just like spice on the front spice on the back just all the way around but yeah. i liked i like this yeah. one probably my favorite out of the three i just wasn't overly impressed with that one yeah especially this for the was price. came recommended by some of the people i work with it's all right yeah, but i mean it's i wouldn't pay the price for that yeah i'm kind of disappointed in it. yeah but i mean especially guess for what? the price not sponsored yeah and nope. <laughs> we'll be drinking on these for the next month <laughs> so so we don't drink a whole lot so yeah anyways uh thank you thanks for being here like comment subscribe until next one bye bye boop, boop.